There are a variety of ways to share a design you build in Photoshop, in print, on screen, and online. In this video, we'll talk about saving and exporting a design in common formats for different uses. First, you'll save the master copy of your design in native Photoshop format, or .psd. When creating a layered composition like you did, it's really important to preserve the master, full-size version of the design so that you can always access and re-edit any of the layers, adjustments, and effects you added in Photoshop. Choose File, Save As. In the Save As dialog box, change the name to Design Complete. Choose Photoshop from the formatter type, make sure Layers is checked to preserve them, and click Save to save it to your hard drive. Click OK to maximize compatibility so that even an application that can't read layers like Lightroom will be able to open this file. Now you have a full-size master version of the file for future editing. With this master file, you can output copies of your design in other formats and other sizes for use in particular projects. If you want to hand your file off for review or printing by someone who doesn't have Photoshop, you can save a copy in PDF format. To do that, choose File, Save As. Leave Layers checked, choose Photoshop PDF, and click Save. Click OK at the warning. In the Save Adobe PDF dialog box, leave the settings at their default unless you're sending the file to a print provider who specifies otherwise, and click Save PDF. Then click Yes. This PDF copy of the file can be opened using a PDF reader like the free Adobe Reader. If the file is open in Photoshop, its layers will still be available. Now let's talk about outputting a design for use online. You can use Photoshop's export features to output an entire design or individual layers in formats that are best for online use. To save the entire design, you can choose File, Export, Export As. You can see the design preview in the middle, and you can choose an image format here. We can choose JPEG for photo-based designs, GIF or PNG for graphic intensive designs, or even SVG for scalable vector graphics. Exporting in these formats will flatten the design, meaning we can no longer access the layers in the image file. This design has lots of photography content, so I'll export it in JPEG format. I'll choose from the options on the right, reducing the quality and dimensions to reduce file size if I need to. There are also options for including copyright and contact information and for converting the exported image to the sRGB color space for online use. Then I'll click Export All to save a copy of the entire design as a flattened JPEG. You can also export assets on individual layers like the logo. Just select the layer in the Layers panel, right-click, and choose Export As. The Export As dialog box opens again. I'll choose SVG as the format this time. Click Export All and save just this logo to your hard drive. When you're ready to close this file, you can choose File, Close. As you dive further into Photoshop, you'll learn that there are other, more advanced design-related features and techniques that can make your design vision a reality, such as artboards for designing for mobile and web, Creative Cloud libraries, integration of Adobe Stock, layer comps, a special design preview workspace, and much more. You'll find lots of information about these and other Photoshop design features like these in the many Adobe Learn tutorials for Photoshop at adobe.com.